Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be taking my brand new mod, Corinthia Tower Reborn, and learning how to add in your very own custom content. So in the MCM system, there are options for custom banners and custom music, and those are the two things that I'm going to be covering today. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my creator banner tutorial that I did not too long ago from the time of this video. That covers how to use my own custom Photoshop templates to create your very own banners that can be placed in game. Now that's going to tie in quite nicely with this video. If you've already gone ahead and done that and you've got your banners into the game, you've pretty much figured it out and you're just interested in the music part of this video, which includes a little bit more detail, then go ahead and click the button on the screen now to skip to that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tackle is how to add your very own banner into Corinthia Tower Reborn. So I'm going to go off the assumption that you've already gone ahead and used either my method or your own method to create yourself a banner that fits onto the generic banner mesh. And I've got a custom banner.dds here. It's a simple imperial red banner. And I want to add this into CTR. So I'm going to navigate to my data folder in my Skyrim directory and go under textures. If you don't have a folder called textures, you can go ahead and create one. And Granty Terry Born comes packed in a BSA and I strongly recommend that you do not unpack it. If you have unpacked it, then yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. That's how a lot of people probably would have done it to try and get their own banners in, but don't use that method. We're going to essentially create our own mod. Now, just to show you the, the way that this works, if you don't have a folder called CTR, you could go ahead and create one. And then you'll need a folder called Decor and one called Banners. And make sure that you copy this directory exactly. Although I'm going to show you a better way of doing this in a moment. Now, as you can see, you can see the standard banner that's used in the MCM system at the moment in the mod. When you select Custom, it shows this banner, which actually spells out Custom in Dragon Language. And we'll be replacing this with our own banner texture. So I've got my banner there. And what I'm going to do is alt click, rename and copy. Now you won't have this available. So just make sure you get this exact name, CTR underscore banner underscore custom dot DDS. That's essentially what your banner needs to be called, the exact same file name. And I'm going to paste that in there so that my custom banner DDS is named that now i'll put that into the description for anyone that just wants to quickly copy and paste that because like i say unless you've unpacked the mod which i don't recommend uh, you won't have this in your data folder and what i could do is drag and drop that in overwrite it and i could have that loose in my data folder but we don't really want to go ahead and do that we want to have this as a sort of add-on mod so it's easy to manage in our mod managers so nexus mod manager or mod organizer i use mod organizer so i'll be showing you how to do it with that but it'll be the same principle with Nexus Mod Manager and others. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that and I am going to create a new folder on my desktop just called CTR Banner. Call it whatever. This bit doesn't matter. But within it, I need to have the same directory folder structure as I had there. So I'm going to have textures. Whoops. There we go. Textures. CTR. Decor and then banners. And then in there, you want to place in your custom banner, make sure it's named correctly. And then I'm going to go back to just the folder itself and I'm going to alt click. And I'm going to use 7zip for this. You can use whatever other program you want just to zip this up and place it into a zip file. I'm going to add this to archive and I'm going to call it CTR custom banner and I've got zip selected there click OK it's fairly quick and it's created it in the same folder I'm just going to put that on my desktop and essentially what we've got here is our custom banner as a mod to CTR so I'm going to go ahead and delete that now I don't need that and I'm going to mod this with mod organizer so I'm going to load that up now Nexus Mod Manager has a very similar button for adding mods manually so you're going to want to go ahead and do that mod organizer fairly simple and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and I have CTR banner custom here as a zip 
the folder that we just created. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to name that correctly. I'm going to do it manually with MO. I always recommend this with MO, although I know that I've got this correct. Just check. It should say that everything looks good. That looks fine to me. Click OK. That should install. Now with Mod Organizer, we have to activate it. I have not used Nexus Mod Manager in a long time, but I imagine there is a very similar process. Make sure it's active and you are good to go. Now in Mod Organizer, I want to make sure that this loads after Karanthia Tower Reborn. Now as it stands, it's currently in loose, so it's stated as an unmanaged collection of files and it comes after it in the loading priority so make sure that's how it's set and you're going to want to make sure that it's right in nexus mod manager as well but like i say i can't really help you in that regard and that is it that is activated so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and load up the mod and i'm going to select the custom banner in the mcm and show you my custom banner in the game okay so once you have gained access to the tower you do unlock the ability in the karanti tower reborn mcm to go under the personalization page and select banners and if we select that there we'll go to custom banner and if you've done everything correctly and have your brand new created mod installed back out banners changed and if you go to a location in the tower i'm in the mage quarters here you'll see that your own custom banner has been imported into Granty tower reborn and that is as simple as that okay so for the second part of this video we are going to need a third party program for converting our music files that we want to place into the mod into XWM files. This is the custom format that Bethesda use for their music files in their games. And this is going to allow us to just convert our MP3s or our WAVs. I know it works with MP3s, I'm not sure about other formats, but it should cover most of them. Now there are a number of these programs around, I've just decided to use this one. So go ahead, download it, it'll be packed into a zip file and you'll want to extract that and dump it somewhere relevant on your machine. In my case, I've gone ahead and placed it into my Skyrim main directory. So I've got multi XWM and it's got its own executable. So I'm going to load that up. Now I have some of my favorite tracks here that I would like to place into the mod. Uh, Ion Trust, Inspire, Inspire 2. So I'm going to make copies of those and paste them on the desktop just to make this a little bit easier. Click Add Files. Drag and Drop doesn't appear to work with this program, unfortunately, but this isn't too much trouble. And I'm going to select all three of those. Make sure it's audio to XWMA. You can, of course, change the bit rates. However, I found that it sounded perfectly fine at the default, so I'm going to leave it at that. Click Start. And depending on the size of your files, this could take a little while or it could be relatively quick. So give that a moment. And it appears to have done. Now it has an output folder, so wherever you've placed that, again in my case, Sky Main Directory, it has an output folder here, that's where it's placed them, and I'm going to be using those. Now if you've just watched the banner section of this video, we're going to be doing something very, very similar, but I'll recover it anyway. I'm going to go to my data folder, and I'm going to go under music. Now most of you are not going to have a music folder here, so again, you can go ahead and create one of those then create one called CTR. And as you can see, because I've got everything loose because of being the maker of the mod, I've got everything loose in my data folder to work with it. You can see the names of the files. Now I'll put these in the description so you can easily copy them and put them onto your own files. But you have ones here. So you have three for the day and three for the night. Now, just for this, I'm gonna make three for the day and we'll make sure when we go in and test there just for the day and we'll use the generic night ones. So what you want to do is obviously copy these names and paste them to each one. doesn't really matter which ones. Oops, sorry, these are the MP3. It's supposed to be in here. So rename your XWMs as each different file. Oops, wrong button there. Rename those. And then just like we did with the banners, I'm actually going to cut them, delete those, don't need those now. Put them on the desktop again so it's easy to work with. Come out of there. And again, you could have them loose in your data folder, but you don't really want to do that. You want this as a mod so that your mod manager can organize it quite nicely. 
and make sure everything's easy to remove if you don't want it. So what I'm going to do is again just create a folder on my desktop, call it CTR Music this time around. Go into there and I'm going to copy the structure. So it's going to be music first and then it's going to be CTR folder. Within there I'm going to have my files, place them in and then go back one. I'm going to close that now, I don't need that. And select my music folder and I'm going to zip this up with 7-zip. You can use whatever program you want. And I'm going to call this CTR Custom Music. Make sure it's a zip file. Hit OK. Let that zip up. Put that on my desktop. So that's essentially my own little mod created. I don't need that now. I can delete that. And I'm going to use Mod Organizer. You can use Nexus Mod Manager. Use whatever you wish. It all works pretty much the same way. I'm going to add this manually. Go to my desktop and select my music. Give it the appropriate name. Just check that's all okay. Should be. That's added in. Now I'm not sure if it's the same Nexus Mod Manager because of the way profiles work now. I haven't used it in a long time. But with Mod Organizer you have to make sure this is going to load after Granty Tower Reborn. So in this case it's shoved up there as unmanaged because it's all loose for me at the moment because of the testing I'm doing with the new updates. But you want to make sure it comes after Granty Tower Reborn otherwise it's not going to replace anything. And as you can see we've got our custom banner one there as well. And make sure it's activated and you are all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and run the game and show you that now working. Okay so here I am in Karanthi Tower Reborn in the Mage Quarters and as you can hear we have the normal Villilla music playing and once you've gained access to the tower you unlock the ability in the settings section to change the music. Now this does not happen instantaneously, you also have the options for additional music projects, Symphony of Skyrim and Solstheim. I'm going to select custom music and when I next change location it should change to our custom tracks. It also takes place when the track ends as well, so let's try going somewhere else. Okay, I went ahead and made my way to the dorms, however sometimes the music actually takes a complete change of location. So. You really need to, like say, exit the tower and come back in again. But eventually the music will change either on a change of location or if the current track ends. So if you just listen. You can hear that that is the custom music that I selected and it works perfectly. So as long as you set everything up correctly, you did the file structures right, you should be hearing your own custom music right now and it can be whatever you wish. And that is it for this tutorial video, so I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comment section below. I do apologize it for it taking about a week after the mod's release to show you all how to do this, but I have had a lot of comments to go through, a lot of bug fixes to make, updates to do and a lot of other things to sort. So thank you for your patience. But yeah, hopefully you all know how to add your own custom content in and it all works fine for you. So go ahead and enjoy the mod. If you want to know anything else about the mod or in fact any of my other work, you can of course check me out at www.darkfox127.co.uk and you'll have all the links there to go to things like my social media, Facebook's where I post most of my stuff. And you can, of course, follow me on Twitch where I'll be starting a new project and shortly announcing it. So that is it. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.